Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact simulation using the new gas simulation system in Blender called Mantaflow. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by deleting the default cube, so press X to delete. And then we can import the skull, and you will find the link to the skull download in the description. So uh, let's open the... Uh, dot obj file and then press r x then minus 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and then press s to scale it down okay so now we have the skull and now we're going to add the smoke and fire so go to object quick effects and then quick smoke and then i'm going to remove the previous bake if you don't have a previous bake you don't have to so i'm just going to go to the cache folder and change the uh, cache folder okay and then accept and then let's scale up the uh, domain which is the border of the simulation so press s to scale and then press g then set to grab the domain on the set axis and then press s to scale once again and that should be enough for now so let's select the skull, which is the inflow object. And then let's set the flow type to fire plus smoke so that we get fire as well. We can also add initial velocity if you want to control the direction of the inflow. And we can also add a particle system as a uh, flow source. But I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'm going to use the skull mesh. So let's press Control A and apply all transforms. Then select the domain and apply all transforms okay so the next step of the tutorial is to edit the domain settings so let's start off by going into fire and then i'm going to increase two values both the temperature maximum which i will set to 10 and the minimum which i will set to 5 which uh, makes the uh, flame rise faster and then let's turn on adaptive domain also which decreases the baking time. I will add 50 to the resolution in the adaptive domain. And then let's set the end frame of the simulation to 400. Okay. And before we start baking the simulation at a low resolution, just to do a test bake, I'm going to save the project. So let's go to file. And then save as and then give the file a name and you can save it wherever you want on the computer and then press enter to save and then we can bake the simulation so let's see what it looks like and i speeded up this part because it can take a while and here we have a very basic fire simulation and as you can see the resolution is very low so it's not going to look very great. But uh, we can bake the simulation at a higher resolution later on when everything is set up. So uh, I'm going to use the cycles engine. And then I will set the number of samples to 100. And I will use the CPU as the device for now. And then use the GPU later. Because uh, using the GPU while recording usually slows down the recording which is not optimal. So well, let's go into rendered view. And as you can see, we only get the smoke. So we need to uh, first add some lighting to the scene before we can add the fire. So let's set it to sun. And I will set the strength to 15. And I will also increase the angle. So let's set it to uh, 100. And we can rotate the sun by pressing R. And uh, then let's go into the world settings. And I'm going to make the background a bit darker. And then let's see what it looks like by going into rendered view. And as you can see, we still only have the smoke. So uh, let's go back to solid view. 
Okay, so let's drag the uh, top right corner so that we can get a new window and then go into the shader editor. And by adding a few nodes, we can get the flames as well. So uh, select the domain. The node setup is going to be very easy, so uh, don't worry. So let's drag the material output nodes to the side. And then the first node we're going to add is the add shader node, which enables us to mix two shaders. And then we shift A, search. We're going to add an emission node. And then let's connect the emission node to the add shader node. And uh, then let's set the color to orange, which is the color of the flame. And then press shift A once again. And we're going to add a math node and set it to multiply. Let's first connect the value to the strength and set it to multiply. And then we can change the value and set it to 15. And then we need to add one more node. So press shift A and search for attributes. And then type in flame, which is very important. Make sure to type in flame. If not, it's not going to work. And then connect the factor to the value. And that way we have the uh, flames as well in the rendered view, as you can see. Okay, so let's go back to solid view. Okay, so uh, let's go back to one of the first frames and then select the skull. And if you go into the object settings, you can actually change the uh, viewport display type to solid, for example. But uh, I'm going to set it back to a wireframe and in the render, it will be displayed as solid anyways. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the uh, flame works fine. So now we can prepare the final bake with a higher resolution. So let's go into the uh, physics settings and free the data, which removes the previous bake. And then let's save before we continue in case something crashes. Click on the plus sign and then save as to create a new save. And then I'm going to set the end frame to 400. And then I will set the device to GPU for the bake. And that is going to speed up the bake by using the GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you can just use the CPU, but it's going to bake a bit slower. Okay, so press tab to go into edit mode face select and then press G and then set to grab the uh, face on the set axis and I'm going to move it a bit down to um, speed up the baking time. Keep in mind that the uh, simulation that you saw at the beginning of the tutorial took almost 20 hours to bake on a uh, RTX 280 Super so uh, these things take a lot of time at the high resolutions. So I'm going to set the resolution divisions to uh, 600, which is what you saw in the uh, beginning. You can also try out 700 or uh, lower values if you have a uh, slower computer. If you have a slower computer, I would probably set it to around um, 300 or uh, 200. And even then it's going to take uh, quite some time. So just experiment. Also remember that the first frame will bake faster because there's less fire and smoke. So um, I'm going to set the resolution divisions to uh, 600. And then I'm going to bake the uh, data. And this will take a uh, long time. So I'm going to uh, start up the recording tomorrow and continue the tutorial. Okay, so now it's done. And as you can see, we have a uh, much more realistic smoke and fire simulation. So I'm going to save before I continue. And uh, then let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks a lot better. I need 
need to make sure to set it to the CPU first because uh, using the GPU for rendering usually messes up the recording as I said and you can increase the density of the uh, smoke as you can see it becomes uh, thicker and you can also change the color of the smoke you can even uh, make it blue or uh, yellow if you want to but I'm just going to make it gray which is the default uh, color and you can also change the color of the flames so you can make it white and so on but I'm just going to make them orange and by uh, increasing the uh, multiplication value you can also uh, increase the intensity of the emission okay so now it's time to uh, set up the camera so let's go into solid view and then press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera and uh, then we need to press n and lock the camera to view and make sure to select the camera as well and then let's go a little bit backwards and find the right position for this uh, animation so uh, I think this looks nice so something like this okay we also need to increase the range of the camera so that we can see everything so let's set the end value to a thousand as you can see the smoke looks a lot better so let's go back to solid view and go to the render settings and I'm going to use the GPU for the render and if you have a GPU make sure to increase the tile size as well I'm going to set it to 512 if you use a CPU just leave it at 64 and then I'm going to uh, use a 4k resolution just keep it at 100% if you want to have a 1080p resolution then I will set the compression to 70% and uh, for the output I'm going to create a new folder and you can save the output wherever you want on the uh, computer I'm going to call it 4k smoke plus fire and call it tut and then let's do a test render just for one image so render image and I speed it up this part as you can see it looks nice so I'm going to go back and I will start rendering the uh, simulation so go to render and then render animation and uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I will post more Mantaflow tutorials very soon so uh, make sure to subscribe